We need to do something for it. It'll, it'll work when, if I just hit it. I might have to get on the floor and jump on it. <laughs> See what this do. Yeah, this is better. Those of you who have your Bible, send them in the Hebrews, second chapter. Hebrews, second chapter. And then we're going to read from verse 6 through 10. Hebrews. Second chapter, Hebrews, verse 6 through 10. When you find, say amen. 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 Fill a few pages, sir. I'm going to read a verse, and I'm going to ask the church to read a verse, all right? So when you get home, everybody be ready to buy. All right, we're finna go. Verse 6. But one in a certain place testified, saying, What is man that thou art mindful of him? Or the son of man that thou visited him? Church. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet, for in that he put all in subjection under him. He left nothing that is not put under him. But now we see not yet all things are put under him. Church. But we see Jesus, who is made of the Lord and angels and self-subdued. Yeah. Crowned with glory and honor, that he by the grace of God should take care of every man. All right, do them attend together. For it became him, perfect through suffering. We're going to use for just a thought this morning, what is man? Have you ever considered or thought about what man is? We used to say when we were small, a little piece of leather, but we're well put together. But man have been Man has been tested, stressed out, and been through a lot of things. But man is still here. Yes, Amen. Some animals have been distinct. The dinosaurs passed away, but man is still here. Because when God made man, he put a little bit of himself in man. Amen. Amen. <laughs> he made man with a spirit. And that spirit that he made man with is going to live on forever. And now we got to determine where that spirit is going to live at. What is man? We are straight off the building block of God. God took Adam, building from the dust on the ground, blew in his nostrils, and Adam become a living soul. By blowing his breath into Adam, God put a spirit in Adam, and therefore Adam was supposed to serve God. But we see down through the ages, God had told man to be obedient. He made the trees and told them to grow their group. He made animals and told them to multiply. They multiplied. He told man to be obedient. Man has never been obedient. Amen. Everything obeyed God but man. Amen. Mankind have done just so many difficult things that God had to take time out himself to send man away back to salvation. Yeah. What is man that thou art mindful of him? Or the son of man that thou visited him? Thou hast made him a little lower than the angels. Now when we get to one of the part, the first part we talk about just man himself. The second part we talk about Jesus Christ. Man was made a little lower than angels so he could taste death. But then God has placed in man the ability by his Holy Spirit to tell Satan to get behind him. And Satan with all his power and all the angels that come down here with Satan and all the power that they have you could tell Satan to back off. Somebody cut the air condition on that, but that design on. You could tell Satan to back off, and Satan will have to get behind. 
He might come back, but he have to get behind you for a little while. Don't you see? I'll wait till they finish. Down to six. Well, I must go on. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you like this here. If this little heat worry you, you better live right. If this worry, we all better live right. Because the tell me hell is hotter than this. But when everything, when you start a couple motion in the church and things, so much talking, I like to stop. Because God's word is important. Amen. When, we, when we open the Bible, I'm going to have to go back to what some of the old people did. We don't have respect for God's word very much anymore. Amen. But when we open the Bible, when I come up in Mama them days, when the Bible was open, everybody stopped walking. Amen. Everybody stopped talking. Amen. Everybody took their seat and sat down. Everybody quit eating. Amen. If the child was chewing, chewing gum, they make the child take the chewing gum out of his mouth. Yeah, right. But now God's word, God's word, and in the house, Mama would let nothing be put on top of her Bible. All right. Her Bible, there another book could sit under the Bible, but wouldn't there another book sit on top of the Bible? Right. Now we come to the house and we call it the sanctuary. We call it the sanctuary of God. Mm -hmm. We come in here, we'll walk. While the Bible is being read, we'll talk. While the Bible is being read, we'll drink. While the Bible is being read, we'll sit back there and have conversation. While the Bible is being read, and then when something happens, we'll say, oh God, have mercy on me. First thing we need to do is stop and have mercy on ourselves. And remember that God's word is important. I've been sitting up on the telephone ring and I'm studying the word of God and somebody run, bring me the telephone. This might be important, but what's more important than the little black book that I read? That's right. What's happening? See, we got away from the word of God and we got the church have turned it into a social club. It's got so now you can come in here, we can eat. With our Bible in our lap. We can drink with our Bible in our lap. The telephone ring. We'll go answer it with our Bible in our lap. And then we say, God is going to bless me. My Lord. If I go to hell and I get there, you ain't there. I know the last bus load ain't coming. Because <laughs> one thing you're going to have to do is respect the word of God and respect the son of God if you go to hell. I got up here to tell you about man. I got a little off the track there, but it's just, I see so much motion and so much movement in the church. And we say we love God. If we love God, take a seat. All right, that's fine. If we love God, that's written his word and let it mean something to us. This is not a social club. Amen. It's a church. Yes, sir. Does Jesus Christ shed his blood for you on Calvary's cross? Yes. And we need to bring that back before all get lost. And we got people thinking they couldn't go to heaven any kind of way. They can't go to heaven but one way. That's through by the shed blood of Jesus. And to get there, you got to respect that. I might not never stand before you again, but I'm going to tell you this. If we don't change, we're in trouble. If we don't make a change and go back, sometimes we have to back up. Sometimes we get so relaxed that we have to back up mm. to the old landmark and start over again. Yes. We say what people have said and what people have done. Whatever they said and what done is not going to get you into heaven. The only way you go in there is by what you say and what you do. Amen. I was going to talk about what is man that thou art mindful of him. And I wanted to bring you back that God has made man. He made man Man wasn't supposed to die, but man sinned in the Garden of Eden. Yeah. And when man sinned, God had to kill a goat, kill an animal, and put a skin over man's shame, shame for this. And from therefore, we've been dying ever since. But man was made to live forever. Sometimes scientists wonder why do man die? Die because of the sin that he committed in the Garden. But then, then Jesus Christ came and gave man the power 
over Satan. Satan that caused all the trouble, but God sent his son Jesus in living flesh to give man the power over That's Satan. Right. That's right. Now he said, anything you do, anything you need Satan to get behind you, you can do it in the name of Jesus. Yeah, you tell right. Satan to get behind you in Jesus' name, he had to back up. And if you give the devil the word, he'll flee in a way. But you got to give him the word. You can't give him any word. You got to give him the word of God. And if you give him the word of God, he will back up for you. He don't respect your word, but he respect the word of God. Yes. He said, great as you, he is in you, that he is in the world. You have the power over Satan. Amen. But what happened, you just don't know it. I've heard people say, the devil made me do it. The devil don't make you do anything. You do it because you want to do it. Amen. You like what the devil is telling you to do.